Hi, it's wine time on the patio again, and today I'm going to be having a rosé from Blue Sky Winery in Illinois. So last Friday was the first day that Blue Sky and the Shawnee Hill Wine Trail wineries, and in fact all of the Illinois wineries, were able to reopen for in-person service. So they have to serve outdoors, but at Blue Sky we were able to enjoy um, bottled wine, you can get glasses of wine and you can have food. They have a nice menu there as well. So uh, for now, it's just outdoor service, but it's nice to be able to go back and visit the wineries again. And so while we were there, we did not try this wine because they're not doing the tastings yet, but we did get a bottle of this Cabernet Franc Rosé. It's a dry rosé and the Cabernet Franc grape, you may not have heard of that one, but it is the parent grape for Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot and it's grown in the Bordeaux region of France, that's where it's from. And in Bordeaux what they do is they take the Cab Franc grape, which is a lighter grape, and they blend it with um, Merlot and uh, Cabernet Sauvignon grapes to make Bordeaux style wines. In the United States it grows well and also in Canada and oftentimes they'll use it to make ice wine in the areas that are able to do that, mostly upstate New York and Canada. Um, this one uh, is done in the dry rosé style and so I'm going to give it a try. Of course we've talked about rosé so that's the pink one so it's not red or it's not white and sometimes it's also called blush, same thing. So I'm going to pour a little bit. We didn't get to taste because they're not doing the tastings yet so I'm going to give it a taste now and see what it's all about. So again this is a dry rosé style so it won't be super sweet like your white Zinfandels usually are but it still has some sweetness to it I'm sure. So also you might notice how it's got a beautiful color. So you always want to drink your wine in a clear glass, preferably glass and clear, um, so that you can appreciate the color of the wine because that's all part of the whole experience. I always give it a nose, give it a sniff to see what it's going to be like or see if I can imagine what it's going to be like. Give it a good taste and it's really, really good. This is. Not too sweet, not too tart. It's got a really crisp finish. I think it's going to be really good for patio drinking today because it's a beautiful day outside. And this was, of course, chilled. Usually you chill your rosés. You don't have to. Of course, there's no hard and fast rules. But generally speaking, they're a nice wine to chill. So it's going to start getting warm out here. So um, I'm going to have to put this in an ice bucket to keep it nice and cool if I'm going to keep the bottle outside with me while I'm enjoying my wine. Or else I'll have to run in and out. Uh, putting it in the fridge. So that's the other option. But anyway, it's wine time on the patio, and I'm going to enjoy this Cabernet Franc Rosé from Blue Sky Winery. Cheers.